Are we using your skill for crazy or mine? Scars. Are you face, flirting with me? <laughs> It's Jessica and welcome to Anthem's demo. So this is a game by Bioware and I think if you follow me you know that I'm a huge fan of Bioware Studios and their games. But Anthem is a little bit different compared to the other games that they have more familiar with Dragon Age or Mass Effect. Uh, Bioware tends to do more single player games that have an online feature but is not the main focus. The difference with Anthem is it kind of is the main focus that you play online to continue the story and I have been a little skeptical about this I'm not gonna lie just because I'm a little bit worried it's outside the realm and I understand that you know game studios want to try something new so I applaud them for that and um, I just want to try it and kind of give my own opinion especially for someone who has um, you know big love for single-player games especially from Bioware I kind of want to show you guys uh, if you're interested in Anthem and not sure about playing it. Alright, so before we begin, I'm gonna read the little description here in case you don't know what Anthem is. So, upon an unfinished world, humanity struggles to survive in a savage environment full of diverse threats. Equipped with the incredible javelin exosuits, a faction known as the Freelancers seek to tip the balance of man in mankind's favor. In the beginning, the gods harness the Anthem, a source of pure creation, Wondrous lands erupted into existence. There are different types of enemy from what I've seen now, different types of creatures, also colossal beings, which is kind of cool. Before their work was complete, the gods vanished, leaving behind an unfinished world sewn with instruments of their creation. The power of the anthem would not be contained, unleashing world-altering cataclysms, transforming and corrupting those that tired to wield its power. Humanity sought a way to survive, so our ancestors created the Javelin Exosuits, which is on the screen right now, handcrafted armor that gave us superhuman abilities. Our world remains in an internal struggle between the power of the Anthem and the instruments of the gods who formed it. Today, the fate of humanity rests in the hands of a small band of Javelin pilots known as the Freelancers. Um, Bioware and EA have said that obviously this is just the demo, some stuff are not going to be the same in the final product, and it's usually not that far off, but considering this is an online game, a lot of things can change in that short amount of time, so I'm just hoping that I will actually enjoy this. I'm a little bit nervous about it, and it's not like I'm not like saying like, oh, Bioware is getting bad this year or something like that. It's a matter of like things are changing, and I feel like not in a really good way. It's kind of like scary for someone who is a fan of the studio and their work, but I don't know. They could prove me wrong when during this demo, so we'll just have to see. Alright, so this is the start. Welcome to the Anthem demo. You were right back at Fort Tarsis, or Tar Tarsis, I don't know, the center of life and the frontier. Make your way down to the Freelancers Enclave to meet Lucky Jack or discuss keeping your javelin in one piece with Zoe by the forge. Need to relax? Tour the marketplace and courtyard side or courtyard or strike up a conversation with everyone's favorite bartender, Amal. Okay. Um, to find things to do, open the map for the screen menu so it's a touchpad. Whoa, this is kind of weird. Okay, it's first person, and that's not new. I don't think that's new, right? Is that new? I can't remember if it was like in Andromeda, actually. I don't really remember. But like, usually it's third person, so this is a little bit odd for me. I'm gonna- can I change the settings or anything like that? Because like, it seems like the camera's kind of weird. Anyway, let me take a look around so we can take a look at the environments and see how everything looks. Well, I mean, compared to like, this is the only game that I can compare to recently, obviously, is Mass Effect Andromeda. Andromeda was kind of a disaster, I'm not gonna lie, because the Frostbite engine seemed very promising, but it seemed like it wasn't ready at the time. So, this game also uses the Frostbite uh, engine, and at least for now, from what I'm seeing, uh, it seems to be working okay. Everything looks like... It's fine. Let me take a look at their faces, because sometimes you can tell when they look weird. So yeah, they, they, they definitely have a better detail on their face uh, compared to Andromeda. If you remember, everyone looked like they were like dead eyes, like staring into the abyss. So they don't look like that right now, which is really good. Um, yeah, you can Got tell that they look good. In today. New Hello. Um, so let's go over to wherever we need to go and see what will happen. Can I run or something? Speak with Matthias about the search for an ancient artifact, face the dangers of the tyrant mine, or explore the world of Anthem and free play. 
Matthias, are you here? Hey, dude, how's it going? What have you been up to? You'll love it. Okay, it's called the Manifold. Well, technically, I call it the Manifold. And it does what, exactly? For years, I'd heard of a type of shaper relic that was able to amplify and augment the, the qualities kind of, of other weird. objects. Never encountered one, never knew anyone that had, but thanks to the Elysian Manuscript, I think I know where one is. Right here, in Bastion. And you think it'll amplify and augment the power of my javelin? Precisely. Excited yet? Uh, Not sure. <laughs> if we find the manifold and get it working, you will be. Guaranteed. First, the manifold. Then, we boost your javelin. You silence the heart of rage, and boom. Everyone lives happily ever after. It's a little more complicated than that. Ah, details. I've sent all the particulars of the location to Faye. I can't wait. Okay, cool, I guess. Um, now nice what? Day, huh? Yeah, nice day. But I don't like how the subtitles are shown like that. It kind of looks like a text message, like if you're looking on Messenger or something like that. It's a little bit odd that they decided to choose that. Whoa. What the hell's wrong with that guy? Uh, alright, this is it, huh? Start expedition. So I can't really customize. I guess I'll do that later, but... Mm. Cool. Okay. Here you can select your mission, difficult level, and privacy settings. When you enter a start of an expedition, the last mission you acquire is always selected. Change missions by selecting mission title, navigate the map, and choosing a new objective. Press R1 to open the squad page where you can uh, invite players to your game. Ready up and launch by pressing square. See, that's the part I'm a little bit worried about. And I know they said, like, they're trying not to make the main focus as the multiplayer, but it is an aspect of it if you want to continue the story. I believe that's what they said E3. Um, so that's like the kind of thing I'm worried about because like, if I were going to play online, I prefer if I just play with friends or, you know, a game where I don't need to talk to anyone. I feel like in Anthem, you're going to have to communicate with the people you're you're playing with uh, to some degree unless you can get away with it kind of like what i do when i play overwatch i just turn off chat and i can just go on my own whatever so that's what i'm kind of wondering about anthem because it's it's a little bit odd i really wish there was a choice to play it online and offline you know what i mean because like if there was an option to play online oh yeah i would be really excited about this that's why i'm so skeptical right now okay so First of all, let's go to the easy, because I am, like, a total noob. Recommended for players who wish to focus on the narrative and exploration aspects of Anthem, or prefer casual shooter-style combat. Easy difficulty offers easy enemies, but no bonuses to loot. That is completely okay for me, because I like to focus on the narrative anyway, because I suck at video games. Let me be honest with you right now. Select X and empty slot and open up your friends, favorites, recommended list to inv invite players to your game. You can invite as many players as you want. The players who respond first join your squad. You don't need a full squad to start playing. Okay? It's just weird. I don't know. Privacy settings. This is the best way to experience Anthem. The public setting above allows players to join your game. And then private is with a squad. I guess it's I'm going to go with public for now just because I have no friends who have Anthem anyway. This is a demo too, so it's gonna start matchmaking me to a bunch of people. Alright, that was me, I guess. <laughs> okay, so here I'm obviously with different players, so this is gonna be weird. Activity keep coming in. Be careful. So are we there yet? What do you think? Sorry, I can't help it. I could be the first arcanist in years. I need to learn how to fly to and shit movies. like that. I've been jotting down potential applications of the manifold and... So how about you focus on uh, okay. that? Okay. Quietly. I don't know how to fly and shit like that. That's kind of a bad thing. Okay, so... This is how you fly. And it's like really weird because it's like pressing L3 to turn on your suit and shit like that, which I never expected. So, okay, I gotta test out the gameplay. Ow! <laughs> I just crashed into the wall! It's a matter of me trying to get used to this. I've heard they possess a device that can overwhelm shaper constructs. The strange box. Could we use it? You'd have to know how to activate it. There's a Dominion camp close by. 
perhaps we'll find a clue there. I will say this, the gameplay is pretty nice. Uh, so far. Even though I'm crashing into walls and whatever, it's just a matter of I need to get used to it. But, like, how smooth everything feels, and, like, the flying and everything, that's actually pretty nice. Um, compared to other games where your character does fly, this one feels like, how do I explain it? You can feel how heavy the suit is, if that makes any sense, when you're moving your javelin around. So, I guess that's a good thing. So it's, it's like really nice. I don't know. There seems to be a great hold on like when you move things. And then like, I feel like this kind of feels like a bit like Mass Effect when you're shooting the gun because that's the only one I can like compare it to, you know, so. I just really wish I, I, I changed my uh, suit. So your 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 uh, thing can overheat actually your jetpack I guess you want to call it that it can overheat which is not good my armor is undamaged which is a good thing. We found some kind of voice recording. Forced entry with a version of the monitor's device. One trooper entered vault before door shut itself. Commanded to hold until a sweep is completed. Both signets okay. from the device were returned to camps for safekeeping. The scouts succumbed to injury on the way out. We left her. We have not heard from the trooper inside the room. Two special Dominion signets, then. That's what we need. I'll send you. So the these are the different kind of creatures. This looks like a spider. It looks like um, you know, like um, the demons in Inquisition. <laughs> kind of glad there's like a timer on like how long you can fly in the air and stuff like that i think that's pretty fair because you shouldn't have like you know infinite amount of time you can fly in the air so i think that's a good thing because like I don't really know the lore of the game obviously is knowing the fact like what to do that's the one thing that's kind of like bothering me Ultimate ability? What? I have an ultimate ability. Alright, let me try this. Oh, cool! Oh, that's pretty interesting. I guess with the different javelin types, you'll have, like, uh, different kind of ultimates. Cool. Ow! Shit! gameplay of it. It's actually pretty interesting, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm not really one for like shooter type of games either. Like I like Mass Effect, but it's not my like my ultimate favorite. Ow, shit! Uh-oh. I, I think my suit's in trouble. was. I have low ammo. Uh oh. Okay, square's still reloading, so that's kind of good. What the hell is that thing? I actually want to see a, like, a, like a titan or a colossus. Like they said that one would be here. I 
think we found one of the signals, but we need to get rid of the Dominion security around it. I'll get this decrypted as quickly as possible. Uh oh, here comes trouble! So like, I don't think we really like run out of ammo, right? Not really. to me. That's one segment. Now find the other. Sending you the location of another Dominion camp. Okay, so we got one camp. Now we gotta go to the next one. This is really cool so far. I actually like the flying so much. It's so much fun. Good grief. Okay. Um, thanks, dude. So far, when you're playing a public match, I guess communication isn't like a big factor when you're playing online if you don't want it to be. So I guess in a way, Bioware was right, it doesn't feel like you are playing online. So I guess I'll give them that. Ow! Oh my god! What is happening? These are- I think this is the storm javelin? Yeah, I really want like a storm javelin. That's the kind that I actually want. They seem to be very smart in moving away, which I think is really interesting. The enemies, they move when you start throwing throwables at them. Explosives, I should say. Ow, god, what the hell? This way? This way? Found another signet. It's also secured. I'm starting the decryption. I'm so surprised that I'm actually enjoying this because like I'm not talking a lot it means like I'm actually enjoying it and concentrating got both the signets let's hope this works one way to find out head back to the ruin and try to open that door okay so we gotta go back I love flying in here, it's so good. What the hell is that thing? Uh oh. Alright. Stay alert. There's probably Dominion in here.
Oh my god, that scared me. I thought that was like an enemy. The three Dominion soldiers that were locked in this chamber were behaving strangely. They seemed confused. But enough about that. We should move on and figure out how to get the manifold. Alright, so we go here. Right? This Found is the it. Manifold, but it's protected by some kind of barrier. It's linked to the entire chamber structure. For some purpose. You must break the link before the manifold can be removed. Alright, so how do we do that? Okay. Go to this one. Alright, what did I do? What? They switch symbols and stuff like that, so how do you know which is which? You know what I mean? This is the part that I'm I'm worried about, is when you have to start communicating with the other members and it just doesn't feel like a single player thing anymore, which is kind of scary. That's why I'm gonna let that dude do it, because like, it seems like they know what they're doing, so... Barrier's down. Be as careful as you can. The manifold is fragile. And dangerous? Probably that too. Got it. On my way back. I can't believe it. We did it. See you soon. Alright, mission complete. Good job, everyone. <laughs> Expedition complete. So, uh, yeah, that's it, which is really cool. Um, again, but I actually want to know if you can actually customize your thing, right? Can I actually do that right now, or is that impossible because this is the demo? Look who's back in one piece. So, hey, did you expect me in more pieces? Why is everything one? echoing? You? <laughs> Never. I trust you've brought me work. Always good to give your javelin the once over after a run. What have you done this time? You're the expert. Uh, you're the expert. Nothing you can't fix. Flattery, huh? Mm-hmm. You must have done a number out there. Nothing too crazy. Are we using your skill for crazy or mine? Scars? Are you beasts, flirting with me? This <laughs> nonsense. Some people stay on this side of the wall. Others? Well, since you love running into that kind of stuff, you better be careful. Careful, helps me survive. My javelin gets me through. I am careful. I mean, I was crashing into walls, but that's just because I don't know how to play the game yet. The job's got its risks, but I keep my eyes open. That's what I like to hear. I'll run you some maintenance checks. Only the best for my favorite freelancer. Oh, everyone's your favorite. I have a complex ranking system, and you have better places to be. Go on then. So. In case anyone's wondering, no, there's no romance options in Anthem, which really disappoints me because I think it adds more to the story. But um, they're mainly focusing on like the gameplay aspect of it, so it's not like, hey, you can have a romance here and whatever. So that kind of sucks. Anyway, this is the forge, so let me take a look at it before we go to Matthias. This is the javelin. It's a ranger, so this is kind of like the attack uh, version of it, um, so we can change the components, support gear, assault launcher, basically everything that's equipped to it. So you can change the appearance of it. Okay, so upgrade your appearance in your javelin by changing colors, animations, and materials, equipment to wear, vitals, and metal plating to create javelin you want, and use coins and shards to purchase new appearance items. This was the thing I was worried about. Because this is the EA aspect of like microtransactions, but they haven't confirmed how much anything is yet or how much anything is worth. And like, in my opinion, you know, like cosmetic stuff is not like a big deal. It's not like what they did with Star Wars where they had like things like, oh, you purchased this thing and it will help you in the game. Um, so I will just say it's not a big deal that's cosmetic, but it's not comforting to know that there are market microtransactions in this game. Because like, like many other gamers, I have a problem with that too. I don't think it's a good thing to have. And I understand 
certain companies do need income to continue the game, but I just feel like it's not a good thing when EA has microtransactions in it, so I'm not entirely sure. But uh, if you guys want to take a look quickly, you can paint uh, certain aspects and it will like highlight like what you're painting and stuff like that, uh, different kind of textures and stuff like that. So if we can change the secondary color, yeah, I can do stuff like this, different kinds of skins and like different parts of it, um, animations, victory, arrival, emotes. So this is like the the victory. There you have to unlock more when we uh, get it. But like this is essentially like what we can do. So you have the wave. That. Pointing. Yeah. So it, it's kind of like any other online game that they have like emotes and stuff like that. So it's interesting. Um, let's check out vinyls. So you can like play stuff, I guess, on your javelin wear state how like dirty or clean or worn out you want it to look different pieces i'm assuming you're gonna get that uh but there's different pieces for the armor too matthias hello 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 here's the manifold ah interesting it's much smaller than expected huh mm. well joel's not gonna hurt it probably <laughs> probably uh, okay <laughs> Okay. You hit that switch? What happened? I uh, uh, hit it again. Dude, seriously? Is here is nothing happening. Okay, easy, easy. Let me see here. Yeah, this is here. Yeah, this is here. I mean, the connections are right. Hmm. Ah, I know. Uh, there is this, uh, uh, tried and true technique. Never fails to- Whoa. The Whoa! Fails. What happened? This... No. What? Incredible. Shut off, Hansi! What went awry? We struck the manifold. Manifold, definition, amplification, or... Multiplication. Oh, we've been multiplied? This is total scorp drop. Wait, wait. Wait, is it like different personalities? You're surly, and I'm not. He's he cleaved and freeze what happened. Division. Of course. Um an inverse function of The manifold divided you? I don't like this. Physical multiplication, psychic. Division. A personality split three ways. No. Yeah, that's what I thought. No. no. It's not what the manifold is supposed to do. We have to fix this! The Dominion soldiers in the ruin, there were three. Do you think the manifold affected them too? Three Dominion soldiers? The same soldier. I'm not sure. Uh... We have to go check. Agreed. Any information will help. Wait! What are we supposed to do in the meantime? Stay out of trouble. But trouble's my middle name. No, it's Arrow. Guys! <laughs> Focus! It's Arrow. Go! You're right, buddy. Oh. Okay, that was weird. Okay guys, I'm gonna end this video here. Um, this this video was mainly to just try out the gameplay and kind of give like my first impressions of it so far. So, what I like is surprisingly the actual gameplay of it. Uh, the flying in the javelin suits are pretty like cool and I don't know how to explain it, it just feels like it's weighted when you try to move your javelin around and it's very smooth and very fun to do. Um, the actual gameplay of shooting everything, it reminds me of the old Mass Effects, uh, which is really cool. I'm not used to uh, shooting shooter games, but like, it reminds me of Mass Effect, I'm not gonna lie in that regard. Um, 
Things that I don't like so far are, I, what I noticed was, like, they have markers on the map right now. You can see over here, the yellow one, it tells you, like, where to go. But when you're actually during on, like, one of the expeditions, it doesn't exactly tell you right off the bat where to go. It's a little bit confusing, the indicators, because there is one thing that has, like, a signal, and you kind of, like, look at it. But at first glance, you won't know that you're supposed to use that. So, I will say, like... It's a little bit confusing on, like, what my objective is to do. And I think it mainly has to deal with the fact, like, one, I haven't played this game before, and two, I don't know the full lore of this game. Um, another thing that I find kind of weird is... I don't know how much of, like, the story is going to be impacted in this. Like, is it mainly focusing on gameplay, or is it mainly focusing on the story, or there's a balance between the two? I don't know, because we're going to have to see if I play more of this demo, or if I, like, actually get the game and stuff like that. And another thing that bothers me is the online aspect, and I, it wasn't that terrible. Like, I thought it was going to be a lot worse. Like, I actually had to communicate with people, because, like, like many other people sometimes i don't want to talk to anyone when i'm playing games i just want to like play myself and knowing that i'm so used to bioware having single player games this is very weird for me um i can see how it's okay you can get by without talking to them but i think at some point during some expeditions you're gonna have to have some kind of communication on like what to do with the others unless you have a teammate that knows what to do like uh when we were in um getting the relic and stuff like that the puzzle there one person on my team knew what to do so i just didn't do anything but i feel like that's probably going to be an issue for people who don't want to communicate with people online I, as dumb as that sounds but like i don't know i just i'm just so unsure about it i know we can search through this area in single player but like the actual expeditions i feel like the, there should have been an option to do it single player with computers or online with people uh, in the public or with friends i just feel like it should have been that way Another thing that's very, very worrying for me is the microtransactions, of course, but I don't know exactly what the currency is worth uh, in real life money or how it's going to affect us or how much we need. Do we need this stuff? Like, is it, is it impossible to, like, grind and stuff like that? That's kind of the stuff I'm worried about on the technical standpoint. I don't know. So far, I will just say, like, playing this game was actually fun. I'm not gonna lie, it was actually fun to play. Um, I One thing I'm interested in is the story. I wanna know more, like what the hell is going on. So I wanna pass it off to you guys. If you play this demo, what, what did you guys think about it? And let me know in the comments if you actually want me to do a Let's Play of Anthem. I am interested because of the story, but I'm just not sure yet. You know what I mean? It's I'm very skeptical still, but I will say my impression of this demo overall has been good. It's just like the list of problems that I listed, those are the things I'm really worried about to say if it's worth me buying it. You know what I mean? So we'll have to see. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, let me know in the comments what you think, and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you know if I upload Anthem again. And uh, if you want a link to the demo or any more information about Anthem, I'll have a link in the description so you can read it on their website and stuff like that. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!